Saban is once again catching heat for standing in the way of players trying to transfer within the conference. Saban said, quote, I don't think it should be on me, citing a rule which says players are unable to go to another SEC school without a waiver, and if they don't get one, having to sit out a year. Is Saban right here? Uh, this is a bad rule. If a player graduates, they should have immediate eligibility wherever they want to. And the SEC has made this rule, and Saban's enforcing the rule, and I can't blame him for that. His reasoning, though, is because he doesn't want his players to go to his rivals. And we saw uh, two seasons ago, Maurice Smith was the DB at Alabama who graduated. Kirby Smart, his defensive coordinator, went to Georgia. Smith wanted to go play at Georgia for his last year, and that was a little bit of a mess. He ended up being able to play there, but it was like, do you want your players to be able to follow their coaches? However, the the coaches don't have to sit out for a year. They can move around however they want. And we've seen other coaches like Will Muschamp not enforce this rule. So I don't know if I necessarily blame Nick Saban for enforcing the rule. I think it's a bad rule. Well, it feeds into his reputation, yes. right, as, as a competitor beyond all else and being totally obsessed with football. If he wanted people to think maybe a little bit more of him personally, mm -hmm. he could make a decision to say, all right, that's fine. Go ahead. We're still Alabama. It's not like we need you as a player. Right. And I'm showing a little bit of, of a heart, allowing you to follow what your heart is telling you. I've never really seen Nick Saban care what people think. I think he cares about winning. And he, as long as he's winning, it doesn't really matter what the uh, reputation is other than that. He can do whatever he wants as long as he's winning.